Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a first impressions, I think, disassembly to do for you. This is the PMP Spartan. So this was sent to me by my buddy John over at Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. Uh, if you don't subscribe to that channel, it uh, is definitely worth your time. Uh, John is a very chillax dude, and uh, he has awesome content and does a lot of live streams and uh, just a good dude and a good friend. So uh, definitely recommend checking him out. It'll be linked below. Now, this uh, PMP Spartan is new for me. I uh, have never handled a PMP. I don't think. I, don't know, I have handled the Revenge. Uh, Kyle had it at Blade Show in his pouch, um, and it was okay. Uh, so I will be honest right away. I don't know what steel this is. It being PMP, it like makes me want to think D2 for some reason, but... Um, that could be maybe older models or something. Maybe it'll tell us inside. Uh, John basically said he just could not get this action um, to work very well. Um, so I'm going to take it apart and see what's up. Uh, but first, I kind of want to do a first impressions as is. So you'll see the clip right here is not deep carry. You have about that much sticking out, which is not fantastic. It is not reversible. Sorry, that's uh, my kid's monitor. I guess it's my monitor, but I'm monitoring her. <laughs> and I guess she just coughed or something, but she's fine. It'll shut off in a second. Sorry. Uh, you know, I'm not sorry. I got to watch my kid, obviously. So anyway, it's uh, some type of micarta, but it's, it's like smooth micarta. It's like that resin type or whatever. It's not that nice and soft type micarta like you get on Vero's or giant mouses or whatever has this flipper tab which is rather you know pokey sharp at the top uh good jimping here though i have noticed that it works pretty well um as much as i want to hate on it i haven't really misfired it or anything um it works pretty well um can you slow roll it out yes but you gotta finish it with the index finger and it has a hole here which reverse flakes pretty nicely. It does kind of remind me of the hole on the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt a little bit. It's got that kind of uh, straight at the top and then kind of like a semicircle going on, right? Um, while we have that out, we can do a size comparison. Uh, not far off. It's definitely bigger. I'd say it's probably three and a quarter inches. This is about three. Um, so that's a decent size comparison. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here that people would know? I have a Kubi 322, which is very popular right now. That one's obviously a little bit bigger. I believe that one's three and a half inches, so you can see the difference. I have the Kubi Royal, the 321. This might be a great size comparison. Let's see. And there we go. Line those up. There you go. Pretty much dead on. In terms of blade length, uh, I guess in terms of handle length, you got a little more on the Spartan here. I like the flat a little better here on the Royal compared to that. Um, you can't really like choke up on that. I mean, you could, but like it's not comfortable or anything. Um, so you're kind of stuck back here. And I have a large glove size hand. It's basically falling off, and I have to put my pinky here, which works, but it doesn't feel great. It tapers down, so it's not necessarily the most comfortable. You can hold it up here. This maybe is more comfortable for me, but it's not comfortable for this finger, if that makes sense. Everything else feels better, but that finger is really feeling it there. Um, so that's your size comparisons. All right, what else? Um... Hmm, let's zoom in on it. We'll take the close-up look. There's your micarta. Again, it's smooth, not rough. There's your pivot. There's your stonewash blade. Pretty heavy stonewash. I like this stonewash. Again, reminds me of the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. Now, this one, I think, is a little nicer, but they're pretty damn similar. So, um, if I rave about the Roosevelt, I got to say this is pretty nice right i don't really like it on every knife but you know how it goes um, on this side you have pmp sorry pmp spartan did i say revenge i don't know maybe at some point it's the spartan i believe it's like a budgety knife i think white mountain knives has these um i do have a code over there it's lefty 10 if you want to get 10 percent off and free shipping in the u.s here's the spine 
pretty cool backspacer. I guess it's steel. Um, again, very budgety on this knife, so hard to tell if that's the liners or the backspacer, but I'm venturing to guess it's a steel backspacer. Jimping right here. It actually feels really good. It's not rough, too rough and it's not too smooth. I like this little tippy thing right here, this little slant, kind of like a reverse tanto look to it. Um, here's the liner side. See inside, nice milling, which is cool. Uh, there's the liner. And this is one of the things I want to talk about uh, that I really don't like about this knife. And that is right there. The lockup is just strange the way they did it. Um, here's that Kubi again, which is also a liner lock. And you see how, to me, it just seems like they put the lock up really high up. Like right here is where you disengage. And that's where the tang meets the blade or meets the uh, lock bar. For this knife, it's all the way up here. So like... Where you're disengaging is all the way down here, though, where the cutout is. So you're pushing over down here for a lock bar up there. And it works. But I don't know. It just feels kind of weird to me. And it doesn't really release well, if that makes sense. Now, that could just be a factor of a, a tight pivot or um, just not drop shutty or whatever. But if you do it left-handed, it slides out of the way easily i mean lockup is good it shoots into place no problem you have good lockup no issue there let me do the old uh check for lock rock now nope eh. it's more blade play than anything um yeah i mean i just don't like that right-handed it's weird like if you're just doing this fine I mean, it's meant to do that, but if you try to shake it down, it's just very awkward the way they have that set up. The detent, it seems really weak. Comes out real easy, but I will say the reverse flick, I've had no problem with getting it to deploy all the way. Thumb flick is kind of awkward. Just the way the hole is set up, and that's kind of how it is on that Roosevelt too, um, except on the Roosevelt... I think you get a little more clearance. See that? You get a little more room to get your thumb in, and left-handed, I can pop it. And I do think the detent on this is a little better than that, <laughs> right? So a little harder to thumb flick that than that, and of course, reverse flick like a dream. I can't front flip this. Some people can. I think it's because of my detent being a little stronger than the newer ones. Anyway, right-handed, right-handed, reverse flick. It's not bad for a reverse flick all around. Thumb flick right-handed. It works. And then you have the front flip, right? So let's take it apart and see what is going on. Hopefully, uh, John doesn't mind. We talked about it, but um, you know how it is. I always just want to be sure oh yeah that pivot was really loose uh he's i think he said he had centering issues and that's why he had kind of messed with it so looks like we're stuck with t6 down here so there's that if i can get it into a good position i'll probably loctite it for him and then we should be good to go i don't think an o-ring would work on this guy uh-oh Jeez, man, the tolerance is on... Uh, look at this, man. Thing just falls apart. Was there even... Uh, so it is washers. Interesting. Okay, so I have an idea then. Pivot went through... Is there a show side pivot? It went through the um, lock side, though, so I kind of want to remember that. There's your internals if you're interested. Your uh, backspacer kind of seats around that standoff is interesting. There's your stop pin. Yeah, decent. I mean, nothing crazy. Nothing looks bad or anything, you know. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is polish these washers real quick. I don't know if John did any of that kind of stuff. Um, that's the only thing I can think of that could help. So, um, 
I am going to do that. Clean them off. And when I say polish, I mean take out my strop and attempt to just rub them around. Honestly, I think the leather side did the best last time, so I'm just going to try that. All right, let's switch over to this side and just. It's really hard to remember what side's what, so I have to try to not throw it off the strop every time. Trying not to do this for hours because I know you guys probably don't want to see it. Anyway, you guys get what I'm trying to do, right? So I'm going to turn this off and turn the camera back on just so you don't have to see all this for 10 minutes. All right, so I'm just finishing off this last one. Can't get it to move on the leather. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol, clean my finger off. And my thumb. Whoops. And then clean the washers off. They look good, by the way. Whatever anybody tells you, this does work. Whether it's minute or not, whether it's going to help this knife or not, it definitely does something you can tell just by looking at the washers um, that they are much smoother. You can see kind of a polish to them and you can feel it. So, um, all of those are good things. So let me just use alcohol I have left on here. Wipe down other parts and we can throw this bad boy back together. You can see the washers are wearing a path into the steel. So um, that is something that takes time. And some knives, like you'll see, uh, if you watch my Sea Otter disassembly, um, they polish that ahead of time so the washers are already running on a polished surface uh which really makes it an easier break in if you ask me um so is there a hole let me just see yeah okay so this does go in this way i think let me see the other side Yeah, because you would want this D shape to go through this one and then into that. Yeah, at least that's how most knives do it. So I'm going to assume they're doing it that way too. This wraps around. There we go. All right, let's get the KPL out. Uh, where's the original KPL that I put in here? Probably gonna need the Loctite. Where's KPL? Oh, there.
too much. Picked a little too much up, of course. Alright. Okay. Here we go. Take one washer. I don't think it's going to matter which side. So, do it like that. So make sure it's lined up. It does not look like it, so. Yeah, huh? Maybe it is. All right. Now we need the scale. There should be a cutout in, there we go. gonna get one of these in. I hate steel screws because of that. The bit driver always picks them up. Is that a lanyard hole? I must put it in the lanyard hole. Bit driver always picks them up. Makes it harder to yeah right. I'm gonna assume things are gonna go well. Uh oh, is this empty? Oh, no, 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 okay. Way too much, but I took most of it off. That's not good. Okay. So this is what I was saying that, let me try this. Just doesn't seem lined up. Seems like it's slightly off and I want to be able to turn it, but I don't know how. I'm going to try to push the pivot through. It doesn't feel like that pivot is in there right I wonder if it's backwards but it shouldn't be backwards because it's just not, we're not getting action we're centered but we're not getting action and this is not making sense this is kind of how it was so I'm gonna try something Weird how it all just pops up, so. I need this to turn a little bit. There. Turned it just a little bit. Let's see if that was enough to get this in the proper location.
definitely lined up now. So it's either backwards and I need to Um, it's either backwards and I need to flip the pivot around or I just fixed it. So we'll see. I'm just going to put one of these in and then test it. Okay, that feels better. Lots of play though, so let's see. I mean, I got blade play. It's just not. Like it can have decent action, but I mean, there's a lot of play there. See, can do that. So I think the, I'm gonna try flipping the pivot around. Which should be counterintuitive based on my understanding of how these D shaped pivots should work. But hey, to me, it would make sense because of the way it's not wanting to cooperate, you know? So I'm going to try it the other way. Even though the D shape is on this side, so it would go through here. Does that seat itself better? And then you see this D shape? That's why I don't think this is right, but goes through. Now we're locked in. Put the washer on. Put the blade on this way. Stop pin. washer and then yeah fuck standoffs are on this side so this is gonna be fun maybe it'll be easy <laughs> hey look at that so this was my idea let's see how this works I don't think centering was John's issue. I think it was this pivot. Lots of play. I mean, it's just not right. Even with the pivot that way, it just doesn't make sense, right? It like wants to spread apart. It's just not a good design. Try that. And now it's super tight. And that can't be because of, and it's off center. Okay. So I was definitely wrong. But that's why you test theories, guys. I know I did this all weird, so I'm going to have to reconstruct it all weird, too. C 
see how that pivot just wants to like not cooperate. I don't know. It's weird. <sighs> Sorry, I know this is an awful video, but now I gotta finish it. I'm just gonna put it back together, obviously. And tell John. I think maybe we should send this off to um John over at Knife Nerd Reviews, because <laughs> He can fix stuff, you know, and if any knife needs fixing, it might be this one, but honestly, this might just need to be returned to wherever it came from, because it's just not a good piece, honestly. That's my assessment. That's my, um, God, I just want to turn you a little bit. What? Hold on. Oh, I may have just discovered something. Okay, hang on. This is a barrel. Is it? It's It loosens. So hang on a second. No? Not feeling it tighten or anything, so never mind. Never mind. I just want to get it together at this point. Put it back somewhere. <laughs> Where did that go? There. See how it just doesn't want to... There we go. It's all the way through. I need it to turn a little bit. Yeah, I don't know where this was made. I don't know what factory made this, but just don't think it came out too well. There we go, all lined up. Back to this shit. All right. Tight. Tight. Gonna loosen this. A little bit of play. Yeah. And this is kind of how I got it. Like this. But it needs to be looser to have action. You never know. Maybe it'll break in. It's a washer knife. That's what people are going to say. You should never take apart a washer knife right away, right? So, yeah. That's the PMP uh, Spartan Disassembly. Uh, sorry about that. That did not go too well. It wasn't a very entertaining one either for me. Um, just going to put it down and let it sit. It's got that play to it. If I get decent action, I probably need to back off to about there. I can get it to drop a little bit. It's dead center. The problem is there's a lot of play in there. I mean, it's like benchmade level getting it to have good action play, if you know what I'm saying. Unacceptable amount, in my opinion, but we are dead nuts. So I'll let it sit 
And that is the PMP Spartan. I don't know if you're going to see this again. Probably won't do a full review on this guy. So um, I do thank John for sending it to me. I like to check out new stuff. Um, I've been hearing a lot about PMP knives coming out lately. I've seen some that I, I've found interesting. Um, I haven't pulled the trigger on any just due to price. And I haven't really seen any that like visually have pulled me in that much. But... I'm hoping something comes along, and if it does, I hope it's uh, put together a little better than this guy. And hopefully this is just a one-off issue, QC issue or something. Maybe these were made in Italy. That would kind of add up to me, but um, could be a Chinese factory as well. So thank you guys. I love you all. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.